At NOG, we've never been a brand that follows convention. That's why we chose to use our 18 years of experience in lighting products to design the most powerful silicon headlamp ever. We are proud to present the Bilby. A 400 lumen silicon headlamp that has six lighting modes, is USB rechargeable, totally waterproof and weighs just 90 grams. Whether you are a hiker, runner, camper, fisherman or kayaker, the Bilby is designed for anyone who's looking for a powerful, reimagined headlamp to guide their journey. The massive 400 lumen output is something we are extremely proud of. It means a whole new level of visibility, allowing you to see far ahead whilst you traverse the trail. The Bilby has an outstanding battery life with a 5 hour runtime on high and an incredible 90 hours on low. Recharge by simply popping the rugged pod out and plugging directly into any USB port. No need for cables or disposable batteries. The Bilby has six standard modes, including spot, wide, reading, and a red nightlight. It is also equipped with a special boost mode that, at the touch of a button, gives you maximum light output for 10 minutes, regardless of where you are in your battery cycle. Our replaceable pod chassis is packed with features. The two intuitive buttons allow you to save two favourite modes and electronically raise and lower the light beam over a 20 degree arc, allowing you to point the light exactly where you need it. The single piece strap construction is made of medical grade silicon and can be easily adjusted using our handy toggle. Designed for adventure, the Bilby is waterproof and lightweight. At 90 grams, you will forget you are wearing it at all. And one more thing, the Bilby is completely programmable using our Mode Maker app. Customize the button functions and make your headlamp your own. For any conditions at dusk, dawn or dark, we present to you the most powerful silicon headlamp ever. The Bilby by Nog. Welcome to the future world. Combined with advanced technology, liberal art and humanities, an incredible new creature is born. Just like a real cat, Mars Cat is fully autonomous, stretching, tapping, and even burying litter. It may express different emotions by different meows or gestures. Mars Cat can play with you or your toys because it can feel, hear, Mars, go sleep. and see. It can interact with objects or people nearby. 
even play with real cats. It heals with purr sounds. Every Mars cat is unique. From its eyes, body to personality, you can pet it and shape its characters in your own way. Dress it up. Make it more adorable. Mars Cat is open sourced and programmable. With powerful quad core Raspberry Pi, you can create your own applications. Mars Cat is also an ideal choice for education, research, and commercial purpose. Batteries last for around three hours for active reactions or six hours for regular motions. We value your privacy and all data is stored offline. Join us for a new era of technology. Dream up a new world. Break the boundaries and embrace the future. The Mars Cat has been designed for you. Elephant Robotics. Enjoy Robots World. Hi, I'm Ethan. I make cameras at Cameradactyl.com. I made a 4x5 folding field camera on my 3D printer a little more than a year ago and sold a bunch of them on Kickstarter. I also made a 4x5 handheld camera. It's great for backpacking and even street photography. I made a medium format camera, the Homunculus 6x9. I make accessories for classic cameras, film holders, light meters, DIY pinhole kits, and I add new designs to Cameradactyl.com regularly. I've been on podcasts and YouTube videos, blogs, and magazines. As the number of designs that I offer has grown, I've become a victim of my own success, and now I spend a little more than half my time manufacturing cameras rather than designing new ones. That's why I'm going to try something new on this Kickstarter. This is the Cameradactyl Bronco Pan. It's a panoramic 35mm camera that I designed to take advantage of the same lens mount as the homunculus. Instead of selling the cameras for what I would consider to be way too much money for a plastic camera, I'd like this time to sell the design files to the world. The camera takes 60 to 70 hours to print the pieces and another 6 to 8 hours to assemble, uh, before I can even recoup any of the cash for the months that it took me to design the product. I might sell one of these cameras for $650 to $1,000, but if given the files, anybody could make their own on an inexpensive 3D printer for about $40 worth of materials. I'd still have to make some money, actually a lot of money, to cover the months that I put into the design. I'm not sure that the business model will work, but if it did, it would free me up to do more complicated cameras and photographic tools in the future. This is the Cameradactyl Bronco Pan. I named it after a friend. That same Mamiya Press lens mount, and it'll take any Mamiya Press lens from 50mm all the way to 250mm. It's got a spring-loaded film door opening tab. In the back, you can see the film gate is 24 by 58 millimeters, which is the same aspect ratio as cinema anamorphic 1 to 2.4. On top, it's got a film wind lever and a release collar that disengages the winding mechanism so you can rewind the film. It's got a film counter dial and a film winding mechanism that'll stop between frames. It's got a hole through the grip so you can mount a standard cable release to your lens. It's got two hot shoes where you can mount things like viewfinders, light meters, range finders, flashes, etc. This is a custom viewfinder. I make them for any Mamiya Press lens. I've been shooting with it for a few months now, and I've taken it to mountaintops on the Continental Divide, to hot sandy deserts that are 95 degrees. I've taken it on planes to Montreal and New York and Spain. It's gone through about 100 rolls of film, and it's totally solid. I don't usually carry a camera bag. I either throw the camera around my shoulder or throw it inside a larger backpack. I'd like to make $12,000 to cover the months that I spent designing and prototyping the camera taking the ideas from sketches to a fully functional, super rugged, panoramic 35mm camera that just about anybody could build at home. It's a lot of money, and projects like this take a lot of time. If the goal is reached, anyone who's pledged even a dollar on Kickstarter would get all of the STL files for the camera at the end of the Kickstarter campaign. I would also make three videos detailing how to print the camera, how to assemble and calibrate the camera, and finally a quick one on how to use it. I would then release all of the files to the world a few months later on May 1st. As a stretch goal, if I hit $20,000, I will release all of the files for my original folding 4x5 field camera on the same timeline as the panoramic camera, first to the Kickstarter backers and then to the world. 
I would make the same three instructional videos for this camera build as the panoramic camera build and release them one to two weeks after. And if I reach $100,000, I will make a monthly vlog about what I'm working on at cameradactyl.com and make everything I design in 2020 free, first to the Kickstarter backers, and then after a delay, the world.